In this video, we are going to take a look at nutrient cycles. So by the end of this video, you will be able to define what a nutrient cycle is, as well as explain its connections to ecosystems. Let's start out by defining what are nutrients. So nutrients provide energy and matter to carry out life functions. There are a variety of different nutrients that we use and we consume on a daily basis. So these are things such as carbohydrates, fats, minerals, proteins, vitamins, and water. It's important to point out here that nutrients are made up of elements, which are pure substances that cannot be broken down into anything simpler. For example, carbohydrates are made up from the elements carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So what is a nutrient cycle? Well, nutrient cycles happen where they go back and forth between the biotic and the abiotic parts of ecosystems. The cycles can be quick or slow and they have no beginning or end. So what we would say is that these cycles and these ecosystems are in dynamic equilibrium. So what that means is a system that's in dynamic equilibrium will have no changes that sum together or will have small changes that sum together to produce no net change. This me means that ecosystems maintain balance, they're quite stable over time, However, that balance can be disturbed by the introduction of new species, extinction of species, or man-made causes. We will look at those in future lessons. Now, sometimes matter can cycle back and forth quickly, and sometimes it can remain in one place for a long, long time. Any place where matter stops and accumulates, so stays in one place for a very long time, is called a reservoir. There are three main cycles that we're going to look at in this course. There are other cycles as well, but these are the three that we're looking at this year. The first is the water cycle, so that's how water cycles between the atmosphere and living things. We'll also look at the nitrogen cycle, which is how nitrogen is cycled through the atmosphere to living things through bacteria, and we'll see how important bacteria are to this process. And then the third one that we're going to look at is the carbon cycle. And so carbon can be cycled in many, many ways through our biosphere, and these are all important because they can have major impacts on climate change. So we'll take a look at the carbon cycle and how carbon is cycled through our biosphere as well. Important to point out that all three cycles do have major reservoirs. So keep your eye out for what the reservoirs are. So that is the basic definition of a nutrient cycle. Now in the next few videos, we're going to take a look at each of these cycles in greater detail. 